So here we have the Ford Focus Estate on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this tray section can lift up to reveal even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom, in the middle, you can see the coolant temperature gauge, the fuel gauge, and uh, the gear this car is currently in. It's an automatic, so we're in park at the moment. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. In the top left-hand corner, the total miles of the car, which is 16,382. You can change the information displayed in that central section using buttons on the steering wheel for different menus. Uh, so navigation, your audio, phone, uh, settings, for example, and your trip computer as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, on the right-hand side of the buttons I was using just a second ago, we have stereo and phone controls underneath that which continue on the left-hand side just here. Uh, we then also have cruise control with speed limiter. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the, car, uh, and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically. Just hit that button after you set cruise control. Just behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddles. They are so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center, the main touchscreen for the car. So this is where you can access your satellite navigation, amongst other things. There's a full video showing how the sat-nav works on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. You can pair your phone from here. Just hit add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And follow the instructions on screen from there. We can go back to the home screen. We've got our audio menu. And you can see we have uh, AM, FM and DAB radio. Bluetooth audio as well, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. This car also has two separate USB inputs, so if you plug devices into those, they'll appear up on here as further options for you. Below that, we have the main volume for the stereo. We then have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed, to determine where you'd like the air to be distributed, and then hit that button to turn your air conditioning on or off again. Or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you, which you can hear it doing now. Any manual adjustment will take auto off straight away again. For those colder days, we have a heated rear screen, heated front screen, heated steering wheel, heated driver seat, and heated passenger seat as well. We have a USB input and 12 volt charging socket just there. The dial for the automatic gearbox. So you can see the car's in park at the moment just here. We have reverse neutral drive and manual there as well. We have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. And then we can turn the parking sensors on and off. We can turn the stop and start on and off. We can turn the traction control off. This button will turn on the autonomous parking for this car. There's a video showing that working on our website and YouTube channel as well. And the last button just here will change the driving setup of the car from normal to eco or sport. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.